what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Rose I am an online health and fitness coach for women if you're interested in working with me link to that is below so I am back on YouTube and we are gonna be doing so many cooking shows so stay tuned but this is a little bit of a teaser I'm gonna show you guys my staple recipe but first I'm gonna tell you why your craving. So the vast majority of our clients coming to us to work with us in our one-on-one -on -one coaching program, they tell me the same thing. They say, Rose, I'm good all week until the night hits, until the weekend, and all I want is sugar or all I want is bread. And this is why, because they are not eating enough during the day. Seriously. The reason why you're craving is because you're hungry and you might be hungry for something else other than food. So this is what I recommend to do if you are experiencing these issues with cravings. So you should really look at what you're eating. Nine times out of 10, clients will be eating too many healthy vegetables that are actually low in calories. So they're just hungry throughout the day. And then when they come home, they just need more calories. So what you can do instead is add a plant protein to your plate. If you add protein to your plate, you add a good source of a wholesome carb to your plate and a little bit of fat, and then add the veggies, you're gonna feel a lot better throughout the day. And then when you come home, if you still want something, you can have a healthier option that's packed with fiber. So I'm gonna show you guys my poop pudding. This poop pudding recipe is packed with nutrients and flavor. So you can have a whole bowl of this chocolate pudding and feel like you're actually eating a tub of ice cream or just decadent chocolate that should be bad for you, but it isn't. Okay, so first thing that you're gonna do is take a Japanese sweet potato. So these are already made, they're squishy. Um, what I do is I roast them on parchment paper for about three hours um, at 350 degrees in the oven. The reason why I roast them so long is because they're gonna get like dripping caramel cake. So when you have this as the base, this is gonna taste better than sugar. So you can make these ahead of time. I keep them for the entire week. I seriously sometimes eat them plain like an apple, but this is what I'm gonna do to make the pudding. So this is the base, see that caramel? This is the base of um, the pudding, is these sweet potatoes, and don't worry, I did wash my hands. You could use a knife, um, but I'm gonna take the skin off. And what you also could do as an option, you can mix in pumpkin. So if you get canned pumpkin, canned pumpkin is gonna be very low in calories for the amount of food, the amount of volume that you are gonna use it with. Um, so that can be an option if you're in that fat loss phase and sweet potatoes just might be a little bit higher in carbs for you. Um, or if you want more, so like more of a volume, you can add in the pumpkin with the sweet potatoes. So then you can have a giant bowl of the poop pudding um, and then you'll be super full. So yeah, this is so great. I love eating this as my lunch dessert. So I'll have my salad and my buns for lunch and then I will have this poop pudding for dessert. Okay, so when I have it for my lunch dessert, I'm at that three o'clock, right? And that three o'clock is when I want a little bit of a kick. So what I did, is I made a mix of ground espresso instant coffee and cocoa powder. So you can have like a little bit of that like coffee kick with the poop pudding. So you're gonna measure out, I don't have a measure right here, but you're just gonna measure out about a half a cup and I'm doing a single serve. Sometimes I will meal prep this and make it for the entire week and then scoop it out. Um, but you want either cocoa powder, and you could do the little bit of that instant espresso, I have a one-to-one -one mix. Then, I wanna show you guys my date paste. So, if you're new, this is date paste. Date paste is medjool dates blended with water. This, again, is something that you can make in advance. 
it's gonna stay in your kitchen in this jar for a really long time. Uh, what you could do, if you wanna know if it's going bad or not, you can like smell it. And if it smells like nail polish remover, then it went bad. But I think this can stay for like up, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think this can stay for like up to a month or two months. Um, okay, so you're gonna add this in here. And again, depending on your goals, we have some clients that are with us for muscle building. We have some clients that are with us for fat loss. So depending on your goals, that's how you know how much date paste to put in because it is super sweet. And then the last thing that you can do is add in a nut butter. Again, depending on your goals, if you are in a fat loss phase, if you're trying to lose body fat, maybe stay away from full fat peanut butter. You can use peanut butter powder. Um, but if you're in a muscle building stage, then adding in the peanut butter is something that can help you. So this again is why it's super important to learn exactly what your body needs for the goals that you have because not everyone is the same. And this is the just the best part about eating this way because you can really eat this way all year long. If you're in a fat loss phase, you're eating the same foods just with some tweaks. Um, if you're in a muscle building phase, you're eating the same exact foods with just a little bit more tweaks. And these are just these staple recipes. We call them our staple PLCU recipes. That's the name of my program. Um, but our clients start eating these things and you know they tell me that they're not eating the Oreos anymore. They're not going to their favorite restaurants anymore because they just love their food so much at home. And that is how you know you're consistent to something. When you love your food that you can make at home more than your favorite restaurants, that's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. And all you gotta do is just get your taste buds, get your taste buds to adapt to these natural sugars. And then the real sugar is just not even gonna it's not even gonna taste good anymore. You know, I would rather have this than my favorite ice cream. Seriously, I would rather have this or my nice cream over what I used to eat because it's gonna fill me up. My digestion's good, I feel energized, I don't feel sluggish, um, and it actually tastes really good too. Okay, you guys, so once you get this, it's nice and thick, and you can add more water if you want it a little bit more runny. It'll taste like this, and then what you can do is you can microwave it, you can actually freeze it to be like little ice cream bars, you can put it in ice cream mounds, and it tastes so, so, so good. And you would never know there's sweet potato in here. Okay, we'll do a little taste test. Get a nice, and get all that it nice and smooth. You can also put it in a blender, um, but I don't wanna clean that, okay. Oh my God, I think I just ate my hair, but regardless, so good. Um, and then you can eat the, you can keep the potato skin, eat that too, lots of vitamins in there. But um, yeah, this is something, you can keep it in your freezer, have it for the night, have it in the middle of the day, whenever you want, and this is a really great option. So let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna try this recipe, I'll post the recipe in the bio, so go check that out. And stay tuned to this channel because I'm gonna be doing a live cooking show starting very, very soon. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of really cool staple and meal prep recipes that you are gonna love. So see you guys later. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. Bye.